big ideas, you know? I can't believe it. You look adorable. But this is not what I wanted to happen, Thaddeus. Don't scream at me. This was not my idea. This was your idea. Oh, there he is, my hunk of flesh. Oh, honey, this place is really jumping. A bunch of animals we got here. Animals, yes, that's what we are, animals. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, how are you lovely, beautiful creatures, you? We have something special tonight. The first annual Mr. Pine Valley Contest. Wow! The contestants will be judged on their talent, their intelligence, and their knowledge of current affairs. That was, isn't that funny? That was really funny. Now, we all know how they're going to be judged, right? How? How? <laughs> no, I, I can't do that. I'm, I'm the MC. What can I say? You know, I can't do that. I'm sorry. Yeah, with the most. Oh. 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 Don't be shy. Take it off. Take it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to riot, hot stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to make the sacrifice. You guys ready? Yeah! All right, can you stand it? Here we go. complaint from a neighbor and a charge of suspected lewd and lascivious stage acts. What? You must be mistaken, officer. Believe me, there's nothing lewd about Nico's body. <laughs> hey, yo, Richards, what do we do wrong? Listen, uh, Richards, why don't you take a deep breath and relax, okay? There's nothing going on here except some innocent fun. Get the boys in blue on stage. Yeah! Wait a second, everybody. Maybe we should just get out, huh? What's going on here? Out of my way. Just what is the meaning of this melee? Who the hell is this? I am Mrs. Langley Wallingford. 
And my husband and I are the managers of this establishment. Now, just what is the problem? Well, Mrs. Wallingford, the Mr. Pine Valley contest is in direct violation of town statute 407-A-92. Prohibiting lewd and lascivious behavior. Lewd? Lascivious? In our club? Ha, never. I told you, Chancho. Just good, clean American fun, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah you said it. Now, you will take your bullhorn and your nightsticks and whatever other ugly weapons you may have concealed about your person and leave these premises immediately. Yeah. <laughs> You heard my wife. Nevertheless, I got complaints from the neighbors. The neighbors? Oh. <laughs> A bunch of old funny duddies. <laughs> uh, now see here, Officer Richards. I wouldn't like to have to threaten you. However, if you do not vacate this property immediately, I shall be forced to call my very dear old friend Chief Simpson and report you. <laughs> You impugn my good taste. I, who am a daughter of fine lineage, and what's more to the point, the chairperson of the Pine Valley Board of Review. This club would never stoop to the sponsorship of any obscenity. So I will accept your apology, and then you will leave here forthwith. <laughs> Okay, guys. You haven't heard the last of this. You are incredible. I feel faint. You need an aspirin. I need a drink. <laughs> All right, everybody. The tournament will begin. I'll see the Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, in the first place, the daughter of fine lineage just got rid of the cops for us, so we don't want to offend her. And I can't enter because I'm an official employee. Aww. I know, I know, I know. But however, we do have someone for you here whose rippling muscles are just incredible. Oh, yeah. The one, the only, David Rampal. <laughs> Take your hands off my arm. Dixie, nobody talks ugly about my sister Missy. You got the oh, What is this? Little Billy bonding or something? Yes, but I should have stayed home. I should not have come here. Oh, come on. Is this oh, my right. 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 Yeah. Is it? Want to talk right now? No, I didn't to Let's give a, let's give a, another hand to uh, David Rampal. All right, who we got here? Thanks, thanks. I, yeah, I, I really don't deserve all this attention, but keep doing it. No, no. Yeah, you're our, right. You our, don't our deserve next contestant is a man attention. whose rippling muscles leave women gasping, gasping for more. Who so perfectly embodifies the American male. Embodifies? What a schmend. That he needs no further introduction. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The man, the legend, Thaddeus 
Martin. But don't touch. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You look good. Now I know that uh, Tad, my friend, is a hard act to follow. But our next group of five going for the title of Mr. Pine Valley are, are you ready? Trask Bodine in the front line of the PBU football team. <laughs> chicken soup. Um, I must say, I'm probably the chicken soup, but that is because that's when I got my ring. Oh, really? I'll tell you what, every year on that day, I'm going to wear feathers. Just for you. Those guys look pretty good. Which one do you like? See, I'll take that one. Trask? I got a bicep. Yeah, well, he has a thing for Laney. Yeah, well, I guess you blew it with him and David Rumpel. Pathetic, isn't it? She's my roommate, and our Charlotte, this is my sister, Dixie Coney. Oh, hi. Hi. Is it David? It's everything. What happened, sweetie? It's really confusing. 
What? What happened? Is it about the other night? What? Look, after, uh... After, um, the costume party, or actually during the costume party, David and I went up to his room. And, uh, see, before... David had accused me of not knowing what I wanted. And so when he asked me if I knew what I wanted, I said, of course, I, I wanted him. You mean he... He misunderstood. I mean, he thought that I... I meant that I wanted him. He's a guy. Did he hurt you? Of course not. But I felt so stupid and confused. I don't know what I want. I don't know what to do. You will know when you're ready. That's right, and that's when you are married. Sweetie, remember what the good book says. And if that doesn't help, okay, think about what happened to me and think about the mistake I made. I don't want that happening to you. Look, that's not the kind of advice that she needs now, child. Listen, you can see me that <clears throat> Um, uh, don't let me keep you from gossiping. After all, that's what ladies' rooms are for, is it not? Please, continue. Uh, I would die if she heard anything. What was that? Oh, uh, nothing. Um, Mrs. Wallingford, we were just talking. I swear I never saw such a group of quiet young ladies. You can make a person paranoid, you know, when all conversation ceases the instant one enters the room. Oh, no, we weren't talking about you, Miss Wallingford. Oh, well, in that case, perhaps uh, one of you could benefit from my many years of experience. Well, that's really, really sweet of you and everything, but it's really okay. You know, uh, what we're talking about is kind of personal. I see. At least you're not out there stuffing the ballot box for your beefcake boyfriend. <laughs> oh, no, we're too earnest and upright for that, Miss Wallingford. My dear, I cannot tell you how delighted I am to hear that. However, if you had asked my advice, I think I might have said something like, um, do unto others as you would have others do unto you. Yes, I think that about sums it up. Good luck. Ta-ta. <laughs> well, that is the good look she's calling, so that is a sign, okay? Don't go to bed with a guy before you marry him. Dixie, in less than two months, we'll be in the year 1990, okay? Well, excuse me, some things never change. Look, Blaney, when David misunderstood you and you were on the bed and everything, did you I have feelings for him? Yes. <laughs> well, well, no, I mean, did you want, want him? It, well, yeah. That's why I'm so confused, and that's why I feel stupid. Look, uh, he said that I was, I was naive, and that everything that I believed in, that we both believed in at one time, was silly. And meanwhile, he is around and chasing all of the girls on campus. Look, some girls are pressured into sex. They think that's the only way they can hold their man. But it's not. True love is worth waiting for, sweetie. Believe me. Listen, I don't know about that, but... The only good way to have sex with the guy is when you yourself are ready. You know, prepared. It's like birth control. You gotta protect yourself from what's out there. Wayne, nobody can make the decision for you. So whatever you do, whatever decision you make, as long as it's your own free choice, you have nothing to worry about. So, whatever David says, however he acts, we're gonna be there for you, girl. That's right. Always. Thank you. Hey. Mm. <gasps> She's okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our resident math genius has tallied up the ballot. We are ready to announce the winner of the Mr. Pine Valley contest. Right. Give a hand to the math genius.
Queen is right here to queue. Okay, here we go. Oh, boy. You do it. I can't. It's, it's too much. Well, the winner is Tad Martin. <laughs> I'd like to thank my good friend Nico Kelly for starting me off on the road to exotic male dancing. Yeah. For people I say ask not what my body can do for you, but what you can do for my body. Oh.